Salter had his classification of the fractures that involve the physial plate. Now the physis it is the growth plate which is present in between epiphysis and metaphysial region of the bone. On the basis of the direction of the fracture lying running, it has been divided into five major type and four minor types. In type 1 Salter Harris, the fracture lying runs straight through the growth plate. In type 2, it runs straight and also involves the metaphysis. In type 3, it involves growth plate and it involves epiphysis. In type 4, it involves three structures: epiphysis, metaphysis, and the growth plate. And in type 5, there is ramming or crushing of the growth plate. Now since we know the classification is Salter Harris, the mnemonic to remember the types are is also Salter. S for straight, which means that the direction of the fracture line is straight through the growth plate in type 1. A for above, which means that it involves growth plate and metaphysis, which is above the growth plate. L for lower, which means that it involves a growth plate and epiphysis, which is below the growth plate and T for 2 which it means that it involves two different structure apart from the growth plate epiphysis and metaphysis and R for ramming or crushing of the growth plate. Now type 2 Salter Harris classification type is the most common. Example of type 1 it is slipped capital femoral epiphysis type 2 supracondylar fracture of the humerus type 3 lower end tibia fracture in children type 4 lateral condylar fracture of the humerus and type 5 compression fracture now apart from what i mentioned about five different types there are also four other types type 6 which means there is injury to the perichondrial structure type 7 which means there is isolated injury to the epiphyseal plate type 8 which means there is isolated injury to the metaphysis type uh, 9 which means injury to the periosteum and also it in interferes with the membranous growth of the bone. Thank you so much.